with benefit of the video, which I do not have benefit of any video, there's no video on the sideline. All there are are tablets. There's no video. There's nothing like that. With benefit of seeing the video, obviously, from my, my, my standpoint, the care for the player, I would have never let that player back in the game. And I don't believe that Jeff Kaplan would have allowed that player back in the game. I don't have benefit of the video. I did not see anything. They come back to me. They say that Tom can play. He's good to go. He can play in the game. So I make the determination, talk to Tom. Hey, here's the plays we're going to go with in the next series. And we put Tom back out there. All right, welcome back inside the league. Ryan McFadden, of course, it's Bill O'Brien talking about Tom Savage. It, it, look, this is where we are now in the NFL. Yeah. And this is very hard to figure out what the right thing to do is. If we kind of recap it, Savage got hit. It almost looked like he had a mini seizure for a second as his hands kind of convulsed. He was taken out of the game. He then came back and played three plays, was cleared again, and then ruled out for the game. So, obviously, the NFL is investigating what happened here. Bill O'Brien says, look, if I saw him and I saw that video, which most of us have now seen, mm -hmm. there's no way I'd let him back in the game. But the official is standing right, up, right over him. What do you do now? Does the official have to say? And that's really not their place. He can't play. What it's do up, we do? It's up to the medical staff. Now, the thing about the medical staff, they have the same view as the coaches. And Bill O'Brien made a very, very accurate statement. I don't have the luxury of having a TV angle to see exactly what's going on, mm. but I can say this. I wasn't on the sideline, but I've been on sidelines before, and I've seen when players have been concussed. You can instantly see that from wherever you are on the sideline. You can see when something is not right. You okay. can see when a player gets up and he kind of staggers a little bit. That's not normal. No. And I think when you saw Savage actually shaking because anytime someone is concussed, usually you see that arm up. Yeah. It's stiff. It's not moving. It's scary. And for him to go off, walk off the field, go into the tent, and come back, back out, that's unacceptable. Well, and we've seen this before. Russell Wilson went into the tent. It looks like he just said, I'm fine. Went right back yeah. on the field. You guys are wired differently. We get it. You guys want to be on the field mm -hmm. for your teammates, for your job, all of those things, right? So who's got to be the end-all, be-all? Who's I mean, got to say you can't the, go on the, the field? It's the medical staff because when you talk about that play with Russell a few weeks ago when they played Arizona and he took one on the chin, yeah. he never seemed confused. He seemed okay. He was okay. It was more so he was trying to get right. his jaw together. Right. But when you saw Savage, Savage did not move. He did not move. No. When you're not moving and you're laying down, something is wrong. And for anybody to be in that stadium to not see that and not think, He's not right. Oh, boy. And all we can do is take what Bill O'Brien is saying. Right. right? I, I see it. But from the training staff standpoint, you cannot allow that player to be concussed based on what we saw come to the sideline and enter back into the ball game. If this was 20, 30 years ago, that's what they did. Right. We've seen players all the time in the old-fashioned days. Even when I first got drafted, players would get knocked out of the ball game. They come out a few plays, and guess what? They go back into the game. But now they're trying to make the league safer. They're trying to have more safety precautions for these players. Mm. And that could have been extremely deadly for Savage to be in that situation. And let's say he went back into the football field. He got drove right back into the ground ah. again. You, you never know. So for the medical staff, and they're supposed to have an independent doctor. Right. Right? What did he do? Or what did he, did he not do? 